Okay, so my bag runneth over with some skincare products. So I am going to sort these out and I'll go through what I've been using up. Okay, I sort of have it all sorted out here. So this is uh, everything I finished up in the last, I think three or four months is the last time I did an empties video for like skincare and beauty and bath. Um, some of the start stuff I started three or four months ago, some I'm just kind of finishing up. Um, so I will start with, uh, I think, uh, sunscreen. I, I love Korean and Japanese sunscreen. It's the only, pretty well the only one that I really used and I do go through a lot of it. I put it on uh, two, maybe three times a day, uh, even if it's raining, snowstorm, what have you, I put it on because the UV rays still get through there. And uh, yeah, I just, and uh, I love the ingredients. Um, there's so much skin loving ingredients in Japanese and uh, Korean skincare. So I'll start with the two. These are actually mineral sunscreens. So if you um, find uh, you don't handle chemical sunscreens quite well, they do have some pretty good uh, mineral sunscreens. And this first one is by Skin1004. And this is the Madagascar Centella Air Fit Sunscreen Plus. Uh, it has SPF 50 and the PA, which is for the UVA rays, it's plus four. And uh, so this one's actually tinted. Uh, so it, I don't find it has a white cast, a lot of um, mineral sunscreens do have a white cast but this one is tinted so uh, whether if you're really really tanned or um, have the darker skin tone I don't know if this would cause a white cast but it it doesn't for me and what I do I can't handle chemical sunscreens around my eyes I find them kind of irritating so I do stick with mineral sunscreens just around my eye um, now I don't use a lot of mineral sunscreens in the winter time because I find them a little bit drying. Uh, I prefer the chemical sunscreens, uh, but this one actually has um, a lot of different types of moisturizers in it, so it, it is actually pretty pretty good. And then the other uh, mineral sunscreen is Peslo Sa Safe Recipe, and uh, this one has panth. Panthenol in it, which is quite moisturizing, and a humectant, and then there's ceramide, uh, which I love ceramides in skin products. It's uh, it acts as a mortar for your skin, as it, like the skin cells are bricks, and then the ceramide is a mortar, and it prevents moisture loss. So this one, it, it's not tinted though. Um, so if you do have um, like a medium to tan to deep skin tones this may probably maybe will leave a white cast on me it it does lighten my skin slightly it just kind of brightens it up more than anything um but yeah it's uh it's also very good for around the eyes and that and then these are um from uh, japan uh i really do like um, their sunscreens, these ones leave just a beautiful satin finish, not overly matte, not overly dewy. And this first one is by Kose. Uh, this is Suncut UV Perfect Gel, and this is waterproof. So um, the only thing with this one, I find that if I put it on a couple times a day, it's fine. But by the third time I put it on, um, it starts to peel up a little bit. Um, but it is a good one because it is, it's waterproof. And this is Skin Aqua by Rotomethylatum. And uh, yeah, this one, I, I think I've gone through a couple of these. And it's a pretty good price. It's 140 grams. A lot of uh, the Korean skin uh, sunscreens, like 50 to 75 mils or so. This is 140, and I think it was about 15 Canadian or something like that. But this one leaves just a beautiful glow, but doesn't look overly dewy. Does It's not overly matte. And I believe this one's waterproof too. So I really do like these Japanese sunscreens. All right, uh, for cleansing, I do use my uh, cleansing balms. 
uh, to get rid of uh, sunscreen on my face. Um, I find that if I put sunscreen on my face and I try to wash my hands with soap and water and I rub, you can still see some of the sunscreen on there. So um, I always make sure I do the cleansing balm to, to lift off that um, sunscreen. I think that's why I broke out a lot with sunscreen be uh, sunscreens before is because um, there was always a bit of a residue that didn't get off with soap and water. So this, I don't think they make this anymore. It's a, a tube house. And what I like, I always took this traveling because it's in tube form and it's less bulky than in the, the jars that cleansing bombs are usually in. So I don't think they make that one anymore though. And this one I think I picked up at Winners or Mar... No, this was Amazon actually. This is by Lila Lily and this is a Korean Nine Berry Cleansing Sherbet. And this one actually smelled like berries. It had the most wonderful smell. Oh. And it was a, a lighter balm too. It wasn't a really, really heavy balm, so it was quite easy to, to rinse off. But I always double cleanse. I go in with the um, cleansing balm and then I go in with a cleanser. And then uh, this is Clinique. Um, I thought I had gone through a couple of these. But it was just a little sample size that I took traveling and uh, yeah, Clinique's expensive, so I'd I'd rather stick with a Korean or Japanese uh, cleansing balm. Um, they're less expensive and they work just as well. And this is um, by Vanilla Co. Clean at Zero, and that's another little cleansing balm I use for traveling. And this is by uh, B Lab. By this is Matcha Hydrating um, Foam Cleanser. And uh, yeah, this one had little bits of matcha tea in it, kind of ground up, but it wasn't rough or anything like that. Um, but it's pH, pH balanced, so it wasn't stripping. Um, my skin didn't feel squeaky clean after. It felt moisturized, but without a film. And oh, sorry, one more sunscreen. Uh, this is by Isentree. So this one's very popular. And this is the Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. Again, SPF 50 and 4 pluses. And yeah, this one is very, very moisturizing. So if you have very dry skin, I do have dry skin, but even this one, I felt it was just a little too oily. I found that I, I had to kind of powder my face after because it was just a little too um, oily and greasy looking rather than glowy. Um, but yeah, if you, it, it moisturizes for sure. Um, so yeah, that one's very, very popular. It's just, I just find I have to powder with it. Um, and this is by Toso Wung, and this is a propolis essence. And uh, so this has um, propolis extract niacinamide, which is um, helps control oils and helps uh, clear acne spots or aging spots. Um, by Fida Ferment, so anything fermented is going to really smooth and moisturize your skin. Honey extract, Centella Asiatica, which is very soothing. Honey is very soothing and moisturizing, so it's kind of a, a product that uh, you get a lot of different ingredients in it instead of using different um, separate uh, products. Uh, but yeah, I did like it, so I just used it after my toner and before my moisturizer. Uh, let's see what else here. Oh, one of my favorite toners is by I'm From, and it's their rice toner. And it, you can see it's kind of a cloudy, little bit thicker, a uh, little thicker than water. But boy, does this ever moisturize. And do you need a toner? Uh, no, you don't. I, I don't go without them. As soon as I wash my face, I splash it with the toner. And it's not a toner like in the, in the past when I was growing up with like Seabreeze and that. These ones, uh, there's so many different yummy ingredients for your skin. And rice is uh, brightening, it's smoothing, it's moisturizing. And yeah, I just, I think I've gone through about three of these. And I did get another one, Style Van, I had it on for a really good price. Oh, I did pick up another one of these. But boy, is that ever moisturizing. But it doesn't feel heavy or sticky. And then, uh, this is Benton Fermentation Eye Cream. This is 
my favorite eye, eye cream. Now, do you need an eye cream? No, a lot of people just use their moisturizer on their face. They just cover their eyes. I find that um, because I use, I wear eyeshadow a lot, uh, my eyeshadow, even with a primer, if it, I just use regular moisturizer, face moisturizer on my eyes, um, it just creases and fades and it doesn't stay. Uh, but this one uh, is, it's a very heavy cream, but it just absorbs and uh, it just smooths out my wrinkles for the day. It's just an amazing product. It does have ceramides in it. Um, for, uh, it's also, it also has a fermentation uh, ingredient, so it's very smoothing um, and brightening. Uh, so yeah, this one is really good. So um, I did get another one because I just ran out from Style Vanna. They did have a sale. And one that is similar and is about half the price is from Secret Key. So I just started this one, and this is the... Uh, uh, also has uh, the fermented ingredients and ceramides in it. So that's secret key and it's very similar. It's just it's very thick eye cream but it just smooths out your eye and it doesn't feel heavy. It just absorbs and leaves it feeling nice and smooth. So those two I really really enjoy. And uh, I'm almost done this. I've got just a couple of days left is the Ordinary's Ascorbic Acid, which is vitamin C, and this is 8%, and Arbutrin, which also helps fade spots. So uh, vitamin C is antioxidant. It helps decrease the sun damage. It does. It's not a sunscreen, but it helps decrease the damage from the UV rays. Um, and now this one, I usually use this one. Uh, vitamin C suspension 30% in silicone. It's quite a strong uh, big dose. <laughs> so it, it could be irritating. Um, I, I'm used to it so I just feel a little bit of a tingle when I put it on but it is a high percentage. But this one all really smooths out my skin, almost acts like a primer. So I like this in the warmer weather. Uh, but I did use this ascorbic acid one because it's much more it kind of has that oily texture to stabilize the vitamin C. Um, so, but once I'm done, I'm going to start up my silicone one. And then I mix it, always mix my vitamin C with ferulic acid from the Ordinary. Uh, it's an antioxidant too. It just boosts the, the uh, effect of other antioxidants. And um, they've done a lot of studies with the resveratrol and the ferulic acid. And um, they're very good with vitamin C to decrease the damage of the sun. And uh, this is by Ample N. And it's a cer ceramide shot. And it's a huge bottle. It took me about a year and a half to use up. Uh, it's this um, kind of... Uh, like a light lotion, uh, but like ceramides are so good for the skin. I just love anything with ceramides in it. It's so moisturizing. And sometimes uh, if I use uh, retinol, sometimes right here it gets just stings a little bit if I do it for more than five days in a row. So I'll put this on and just... Um, I'll put it on some cotton pads and just put it on my cheeks and it just smooth like just soothes everything and it acts as a moisture barrier so yeah I, um this was actually a pretty good price i mean it's 100 mils this lasts forever and yeah you don't need a lot of it and this is by uh holica holica this is good sarah and it is a ceramide lotion and it has other really good ingredients in it uh, it's it's very very thick but I find for some reason this one just even though it's very thick it just my just skin just sops it up and um, I can certainly wear it during the day um, but it's a good ceramide cream and then uh, this is skin and lab I don't know if they make this anymore uh, barrier derm intensive cream and um, yeah, I think I was using this uh, when, well, it was a different package, obviously, but when I was uh, still nursing and it was uh, the masking up for COVID and everything, this one just helped uh, decrease the irritation from, from my skin and that sort of thing. I don't know if they make it anymore. And this is SNP uh, Secaronic Soothing Cream. 
Uh, so this has Centella asiatica in a massacasicide acid. It's all from the same plant, um, but it's, it's just very smoothing. And this was a gel cream. Uh, so I did like wearing this under mask also. It just decreased the irritation and it wasn't heavy. It just sunk right in, but it's still moisturized. This is by I'm From. It's their little honey mask. And this is kind of the sample size. They do have a big jar of it. Um, but yeah, this it it has I don't know what percentage of honey, but it's up there. But yeah, it it smells like honey. It it's really really sticky. So I put it on for about half an hour and wash it off. And um, yeah, it, it's it's very soothing uh, if your skin's irritated. Um, it it is pricey. These little bottles were a lot uh, better for budget wise. Um, yeah, it was very good. Uh, people just love this, but. Um, yeah, it was okay. I prefer the uh, the sheet mask. And this is Hymish uh, All Clean Green Foam. And they make uh, one of my favorite cleansing balms. And uh, it has a pH of 5.5, .5, so it uh, doesn't strip your skin. It doesn't leave it squeaky clean. Um, it doesn't leave it dry feeling. It just feels clean, but it uh, feels moisturized without any film. And uh, this is by Pareto Deep Sea Pure uh, Water Cream. Oops. And this has uh, niacinamide, which helps um, regulate oil balance and uh, decrease age spots and acne scars. Hyaluronic acid, panthenol, which are both humectants. And um, now I've Sometimes I'll wear this on a um, during the day. It's a I, even though it's a gel cream, I find it a little bit heavy. Uh, but if I'm just not going anywhere, I'm but I'm out hiking and it's cold, then I I will. Um, but yeah, it, it is very moisturizing. Uh, Chic Quattro. Uh, Chic are the only razors I use. I've tried probably every brand under the sun and I always come back to the Chic razors. They last a long time. They don't nick my skin. And oh, one more moisturizer. This is Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. So it has Centella Asiatica in it and Guazuline, which is um, I think from the chamomile plant, but it turns the lotion a light blue. Abby, I'm coming. She's ready for a nap and she likes me to lay down with her. Um, Claire's is more a more on the expensive side. So while I did like this, um, there's others that are less expensive that do the same kind of job. Oh yeah, I did have another Clinique cleansing balm there that I did use up. Um, this is Milani Eyeshadow Primer. Uh, probably one of my favorite ones. I do like the NYX one also, but this is always on sale and it's, uh, it lasts forever. Like, I think I get like a year and a half or something out of this. Lasts forever. And then another eye primer is the CoverGirl eye primer. Now this one was actually pretty good too. I found that my eyeshadow didn't crease, um, and didn't fade too much with this one either. It's almost as good as the Milani. The Milani, you get more for your money, and I think I like it just a little bit better. Uh, but if you can find the CoverGirl on sale, it's pretty good. Um, but I don't know if they still have that or not. Oh, another cleansing balm uh, by La Creme Shop, uh, which I got at Winners. It's actually pretty good. Worked well. And this is by Beauty by Josen, and this is um, a serum, Ginseng and Snail Mucin. So nail mucin is very soothing, moisturizing. Uh, ginseng is supposed to be like an anti-aging product they use a lot in Asian skincare. Abby, come here. I'm coming. Oh my God, you want some? Um, yeah, I'd, it was pretty good. I mean, I don't know. It, it's like a 30 ml bottle, so it didn't last me the longest time, though. Probably used way too much too much at any given time um but yeah a lot of people do rave about these and they have different like i don't know five or six different ingredients you can get Alrighty, i've been trying to use up my bath and body works um 
uh, bath products. I've got way too many. So I've been really making a concerted effort to get through them. So I do like their moisturizing uh, body washes, the creams. It has uh, shea butter and cocoa butter. This is Sunrise Yoga. And this is Mandarin Spearmint and Juniper Berry. And I really didn't pick up any of those notes in there. Um, it was probably my least favorite. It was still nice. It was still a lovely, soft, relaxing scent. Um, but I really didn't pick up a lot of those scent notes. Oh, this one, I wish they would bring this back. It was one of my favorites. It's um, uh, the Bath & Body Works Mint Leaf and Bergamot uh, Body Wash. Oh my gosh, this smelled like heaven on earth. I love the smell of bergamot. I love the smell of natural mint. This was so good. Oh, I wish, I wish I would bring that back. Uh, aromatherapy line. This is the orange and ginger, which is so bright and but relaxing. Eucalyptus and spearmint. I've gone through quite a few of that scent. Love it. This one was really good. This was star, stargazing meditation. And this had bergamot, patchouli, and vetiver. So those kind of sound like overly masculine kind of scent notes. But oh my gosh, it was not masculine at all. It was just so soft. Felt like you're in a spa. It was so, so nice. So yeah, I do like the aromatherapy line. Oh, one more. This is Love. Uh, again, I love the aromatherapy line. This is Rose and Vanilla. And this is uh, another aromatherapy, but this is in the gel form. I do like the cream form better. It's just more moisturizing. But this was a wonderful scent. Juniper and coriander. And I think, is that it for Bath & Body Works? I think so. Um, I found this, a couple of these, on uh, the clearance rack at Winners. And it's an Australian, or maybe it's made in the Netherlands. It is um, a foaming body wash, and this one is in wild thyme and cranberry oil, and also had eucalyptus. Oh my god, this smells so good. Like when I was feeling tired and headachy, I had a shower with this, and boy, it just woke me up and made me feel so much better. Um, yeah, I got a couple of these on the clearance rack for like three bucks each. Uh, it was so good. And for my hair, uh, this is the Shea Moisture. Now it's got a long title. Purple Rice Water Strength and Color Prep Primer and Styler. Uh, so this one was like a thick, um, kind of lotion-y. Well, not thick. It was a kind of a lotion-y kind of leave-in conditioner. Uh, this is great if you don't want, if you got frizzy hair. Um, this kept my hair frizz free for the most part in the summertime on those hot humid days. It just makes everything um, smooth and shiny and frizz free. And yeah, I did get a backup. I can find this in Shoppers, uh, Winners, Walmart. Um, you can find it uh, in quite a few places. But yeah, uh, this is the second bottle I went through. Oh, I just heated up a little bit. I'm almost done. Are you still with me? Uh, this is uh, she aroma. Sorry, she aromatherapy. Yes, the pumpkin spice sugar scrub. Oh my God, this was smelled so good, and I'm glad I picked up a another one. Uh, it is so so good. Uh, L'Oreal. This is the total repair uh, daily conditioner, two times the repair. I think this is the one you just had to leave in for one minute, and yeah, it did a good job. I do like the L'Oreal hair products. This is S Factor conditioner. Um, uh, I haven't seen it in winters for quite a while. Uh, I did pick up a bottle in Dollarama, actually, of all places. It is kind of a high-end one. Um, but yeah, I really I really do like this one. I do like the conditioner better than the shampoo. found the shampoo a little bit stripping, but the conditioner was really good. Um, oh, my favorite deodorant, Schmitz. This is Geranium Flower. Um, I tell you, when I was wor working 12-hour shifts at the hospital... Uh, I was sweating like a pig under all that COVID gowns and everything. And I still smelled like a rose by the end of the day. And the next, uh, if I didn't shower for some reason one night, the next morning I, I still, I didn't have any body odor. It was, it's amazing. It worked so well for me. Uh, this is uh, Paris Hilton Daily Brush Cleaner. It's one of those that you spray, you just wipe it on a towel and it's pretty well dry. It's, I do like that one. Okay, 
And then face mask, man, I, I went through a pile. This is all by Jam Solution. Um, I can find this in my local Asian supermarket. Um, but yeah, JM Solution, I've gone through a pile. This is Centella Aloe Mushroom and Tea Tree Mask. Uh, this is a Ceramide Mask. I can't pronounce that. Um, yeah, but I love my JM Solution. Another one I really like that absorbs very well is um, Annie's Way by uh, their Bubble Tea Mask. So there's Blueberry black tea, cherry, um, these ones just absorb so nicely. And uh, this is Yada. The only thing I don't like about Yada is their mask. I don't, they're not as thin as like the Annie's mask or the JM solution. Um, these are, tend to wrinkle up more and they don't fit my face too well, but I do like the essence. Um, so this is um, the honey one, the snail one. Um, so yeah, they, these have a ton of solution, the Yada ones too. So anyway, that's it. Whoops, sorry. Um, yeah, I can't believe I got through all that in three or four months there. But anyway, so if you look, watch my hauls and you think she can never use all that stuff up. I do. <laughs> I, I do use it up. So anyway, that's it. Um, hope you're doing well and uh, hope you enjoyed if you're, if you're still watching. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye.